I, I, uh, I guess you're the person I'm tutoring. It's, uh, it's nice to meet you. So, um, what areas are you struggling? All of it, okay. I guess we're probably going to be here for a long time then, aren't we? <laughs> hey, don't look so ashamed. It's a difficult subject. It's not the type of thing that just clicks the first time you hear it. Anyway, I can tell you care about the subject anyway, so that's a good start. If you don't care about something, you're never going to make any progress with it. So, um, do you understand the basics, or is it literally just everything needs work? It is everything, okay. I'll have to do quite a few sessions then. Maybe make this a persistent thing over the year. Every week or a few days or something like that, we can meet up and uh, go over everything. Is that okay with you? Good. No, 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 don't worry. I'm, I'm not going to get sick of you. I mean, honestly, having to look over the table and seeing somebody like like you, is just going to be a pleasure anyway, so. <laughs> right. Do you have your course book with you? <laughs> you didn't, you didn't think to bring it, really? Okay. Well, lucky for you. I have one as well. I was just gonna read through this and guide you in your one, but I guess we can share. <laughs> or do you want to scoot over to this side? Yeah, yeah, it's here right next to me. It's alright, I don't bite. I mean, I will if you, uh, if you stop back talking, but you don't seem the type. So, page five. <laughs> Sorry, um, I've, I've just noticed your, whatever it is you're wearing, anyway, but it's a really nice smell. Just really focused in on it when you got so close then. <laughs> Are you blushing? <laughs> what? Sitting next to a handsome guy and being complimented isn't something you're used to. It should be. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised you're not used to that. Anyway, let's get on with this. We only have so long. And from the sounds of it, it's going to need quite a bit of work. Yeah, yeah, we'll uh, see you later. You know, it's important studying, so we should probably get on with it. Right. What a dick. 
sorry. Um, right, where were we when we left off last time? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a little agitated, to be honest. But your boyfriend just doesn't leave you alone, does he? Sorry, it's not my, not my place to critique. Right. Okay, page 67. God, it's like... I know, it's like it's a lost puppy or something. Can't bear to be away from you for like... What, an hour or something will be due to... Unless it's intimidated. And then maybe he's put off by... A guy teaching you. Sorry, I'm focusing on the wrong thing. I don't know why it just really bothered me. And it comes across like such a sort of protective, overbearing, sort of almost narcissistic asshole. <laughs> and it was like ten minutes. He was just standing over us then. When you got here with him, I looked at the time and I was just like, right, okay, you're a few minutes late, that's that's fine. Checked again when he left, it's literally been like, I think 12 minutes exactly. He just wouldn't shut up. <laughs> Why are you smiling at me like that? Yeah, of course I care. I mean, it's your education. Anyway, I think you can do so much better. I mean, just looking at him. It's He's hardly the... the epitome of what a guy should be. Yeah. to this point, but I think I should be a little more less overbearing anyway, and uh, you know, a lot happier to just let you be independent and get on with whatever it is you want to do, and you know, just be there to support you and not control anything. It was like he was trying to I don't know, like, analyse me or something and see if I was going to hit on you. Or analyse you and see if you were trying to hit on me or something, I don't know. It's really weird, really jealous. <sighs> Sorry, that, that type of behaviour just really bothers me. You can, you can be honest, what's up? <laughs> oh, right, um... Well, if you've been thinking of breaking up with him anyway, then you should just do it. It's not like... Well, it's not like a relationship at, at this stage in life is gonna last forever anyway, is it? You know, you probably going into different fields and, you know, as soon as you graduate you'll be somewhere else completely. You know, you don't have to deal with long distance if you can help it, especially after being, you know, in person for so long. You're both finding your way and... No, I graduated literally like a year and a half ago, I think it was at this point. And I mean, immediately I ended up moving across the country for a job that I realised I didn't like. And then I found my way back here just because I was looking online one day and I happened to see an opening for a cheetah programme. That's, that's it, that's my story. But the friends I made, I kept in touch with 
was some, and some I just couldn't. You know, one of them decided that they were going to move halfway across the world. Some of the others immediately got so busy. One of them accidentally got somebody pregnant, so he was going to tie down immediately, and basically between work and being a dad, suddenly just lost all track of time and couldn't really hang out with anybody. And I know a lot of people like to say that the friendships that you make in university are just it for life, like they will be your best friends, but it's just not true. Sometimes, yeah, but not all the time. So. Sorry. <laughs> just a really long way of saying that it probably won't last anyway, so why bother? because I don't like him. But uh, we can just ignore that. <laughs> anyway, we're like 20 minutes into the session and we haven't actually started yet, so... Do you want to come around and sit next to me again? <laughs> no, it's, it's no reason. It, it, well, it, there is a reason. It's just this specific part of the course is kind of easier to do if I can point out exactly what's on my page and you can take notes immediately without having to sort of find what I'm talking about. It's a really difficult bit to, to explain and even harder to, to understand. So I just think it would benefit if you, um, you know, if you're reading from my book with me. I'm not, I'm not blushing, no. <laughs> I, okay, I'm blushing a little bit. Sorry, just getting into a really passionate conversation about relationships, especially your relationship, and, uh, I'm a bit of a hopeless romantic in a lot of ways. You know, talking about dating is the type of stuff that just immediately gets my mind whirring. So, um, anyway, let's, let's get on with this. Hey, you okay? like you've been crying. You have been crying. Okay, that, um, I guess that makes sense. What's wrong? Oh, you, um, you broke up with him then. Okay, that's, yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know what to say. I mean, you know I didn't like him, so I'm kind of happy to hear that. But I don't want to be smiling when you're upset. <laughs> so... I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you think it's the right thing to do. I guess it was just... emotional. Yeah. I mean, breakups will always be emotional. Even if you come to hate them, I mean, you're still... You're still dating for a reason, right? Do you want a hug? Because you really look like you need one. It's okay. So, you know, my dumb jokes and horrible explanations of the topic will distract you. <laughs> I mean, and 
unless you don't want to study. So, I mean, if, if you don't think your head's going to be in the right place, then that's fine. You know, you don't have to study, we can just sit and talk. Maybe go get a coffee if you like. I mean, you're booked in for the hour, so... If you just want to go and do something, then that's fine. It's not going to stop me from tutoring anybody else, as long as I'm back on time. So I do have somebody else right after you, but it won't be a problem. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with that. Yeah, you know, I've actually been thinking for a while about asking you for a coffee. Just, uh... Well, I mean, we're closer anyway than I think most people are with a tutor. I mean, some of the other people I tutor are just very, like... Not, like, standoffish or anything, but it, it's like they're just... They're there to learn. They're not there to have a conversation or anything. It's just strictly business, you know, so <laughs> maybe it's nice to have a break with you, but even then I think we're probably closer than most people are in this sort of position, so nice to hang out as friends instead of, well, tutor and student, I guess, not that I see you as a student, I mean, if anything, I see you as um, a really. <laughs> I don't know, okay. I see you as a really, really cute friend who I was really hoping would break up with a boyfriend. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm. I am hitting on you right after you just finished a relationship. I know. I'm horrible. <laughs> I didn't mean to, it just sort of... It ended up going well. <laughs> Why did you break up with him? hated him, and I know I was going on about how I thought he could do better and everything, but it's not just because of me, is it? Yeah, what do you mean, yes? It's because of me. Is it because of me if it's not because of that? Oh. <laughs> you, um... You think I'm... You... Right, okay. That's... say to that, actually. <laughs> I, uh, I know I was hitting on you, like, two minutes ago, but... I didn't think you actually felt the same. So, I guess us getting coffee is more like a date. You move on quick, I'll, um, I'll give you that. <laughs> uh, can 
I be honest? From the moment that I started tutoring you, I've always thought that you're really smart and cute and funny and really kind. And um, the moment I met your boyfriend and I just immediately knew that you could do so much better, it was just... It kind of sealed the fact that I have a bit of a crush on you. That moment really ensured it. So. When did you start thinking I was cute? <laughs> Straight away. Okay. Cheetah. to kiss you right now if it wasn't for the fact that we are in the middle of my work and I would be fired immediately if somebody sees me. So, how about we get coffee, we talk, I go back to tutor my other students and maybe we can go out somewhere again tonight for a proper day. Okay with you. <laughs> okay, nobody saw that, but you are very cheeky, don't do that. <laughs> you want to? Okay. Come on. Let's go get this coffee. 